Hey there, Aaron here from Maven with a five minute tip for you, where we're gonna cover how to sort columns in the query editor. And more specifically, I'm gonna talk about how you can sort multiple columns at the same time within the query editor. Now, you may be thinking, Aaron, I already know how to do this. It's super easy, I just use custom sorting. And in Excel, that works. But in the query editor, things are just a little bit differently and the output might not quite be intuitive. So up next, I'm gonna show you the exact steps you need to be able to sort multiple columns at the same time within the query editor. All right, so we're here in the query editor and for this demo, I'm gonna be using the Maven Roasters calendar table from the advanced DAX course. And what we wanna do here is sort this calendar table in the query editor by both our week ID column and week gear column at the same time, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'll select the week ID column first, and then I'll select the week year column, and I will sort these descending. And you can see what happens here is we get a single down arrow just on the week ID column Right, so this is sorting appropriately by week descending. But then if you look at the week year column, what happened here is we have our 53rd week for 2018, and then the 53rd week for 2017, and then we're jumping back to another week 53 for 2018. And you can see we kind of bounce back and forth between the same week number across different years as we go down the data set here. So this isn't exactly what I was expecting to have happen. And I only am sorting by one column. Fortunately, there's actually a really easy way to remedy this. And what we need to do is we need to make sure we're still on our sorted rows step. And all we need to do is click this column header, sort descending, and now we've added a second comparison criteria to our M code here, right? Where we're sorting our table by week ID descending and week year descending. And you can see these two sort criteria are indicated in the header by the one in our down arrow, and then our second sort criteria, number two, by this down arrow here. And the result is, again, this is really aligned with what we would be expecting here, where we have our week 53 for 2018, week 53 for 2017, week 52, 2018, week 52 for 2017, and so on and so forth here. All right, so let's unwind this a minute, and I wanna show you exactly why it's important to make sure you have the sorted row step selected when you're doing this multi-sort, right? So this was the original M code, right? We've just deleted that second comparison criteria. And let's say, for example, um, you know, let's rename this column here and we'll just slightly tweak this to week year. So we add in that additional applied step here. Now let's say, hey, all right, we've sorted by week ID and we also wanna sort by week year. We come back in here and we're gonna click sort descending. What we've done here is we've actually introduced a brand new sort to our applied steps. All right, so the query editor is going through and processing all of these steps linearly. So we're going through source, promoting headers, we're changing our type, uh, we're reordering columns, we've sorted by our week ID column, we're renaming our column header here for week year, and now we're saying, hey, we wanna sort by week year. The context for this original sorted row step isn't retained so basically the query editor doesn't understand that we wanna sort the data set by both of these columns. And you know what, that's fine. All we need to do is we're gonna delete this sorted row step. Maybe we wanna keep this column renamed the way it is. We'll just click back to this sorted rows, sort descending again. We add in that second criteria for week year and then when we come down to our rename column step, that sort is maintained here. So that's awesome, right? 
And what's really cool here is we've got this data set sorted by two columns right now. If you take a look at this transaction date column, look at how these dates are, right? Maybe we want to sort these to sending as well, instead of having the 30th, the 31st, um, you know, the 24th, 29th, 25th, right? These are all kind of out of order. So what we can do here, select sort descending again, we'll insert step, and now we've added a third comparison criteria for our table sort order for the transaction date order descending, right? And again, really cool feature here is that all of the columns that we've sorted by, the interface is adding these little numbers. So we have that visual intuitive indicator to keep track of the number of columns and the order in which we've used them to sort, right? The first one was the week ID, second was week year, third was transaction date. So the cool thing about this multi-column sorting is that you can apply it to any table within your data model. Give it a shot the next time you need to perform some sort of custom multi-column sorting. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for our video today. Thank you for watching, and if you like what you saw, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the Maven YouTube channel, and please leave a comment to let me know what you think, and also maybe a suggestion for what else you'd like me to cover. Until next time, learn on.